Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is second part of our to-do list app using Firebase database as a backend. In the first part, I have showed you demo app that we'll be creating from now on. And also we have created a to-do list app using SQLite database as well. So if you haven't watched that tutorial series, link is in the card box and also it is in the description box. Go and check it out. Okay. So I have created one empty project and I have added some colors here, two colors, uh, the green, blue and dark blue. This is not correct name, but I just spell it as green, blue and dark blue. So hash 0a3d62 and hash 192a56. Okay. So add these colors and also have connected this app to Firebase. So if you don't know how to connect, just click on the tools and then firebase so assist firebase assistant will pop up and then click on cloud firestore because we will be using cloud firestore for this app so as you can see uh, my app is connected so if your app is not connected to firebase uh, here will be one link just click on it and connect your app to firebase okay so now i will just hit on this add cloud firestore sdk to your app and this will add some dependencies so let's wait. So the difference between Cloud Firestore and the real-time database, I have already made a video on that. So if you want to watch that video, link is in the card box. Go and check it out. So till then, what we can do, uh, I'll open Google Chrome and Firebase, my app that I have connected and I have created one new project that is to do list app and I have connected my app to this project. So now click on Firestore database. Click on create database and start in test mode. Click on next. Enable. Okay, so I have enabled uh, Cloud Firestore from here as well. And uh, dependencies set up correctly. So I'll just minimize this assistant. And the first thing I will get rid of this text view. So I'll just delete this and uh, what we're gonna do in our themes so uh, i will change this color to green blue because uh, this will be our action bar color and then i will change this color to dark blue so this will be our status bar color and now i will create one activity for splash screen so hit on the package name new and new activity so we need one empty activity i'll name it as splash activity click on finished okay so we'll change the background color of so background and this will be dark blue or let's select green blue okay so this is cool and again we'll require some vector set so hit on drawable and new vector set so search for done and we'll select this click on ok and i want this in white color so choose next finish okay so we'll add one texture here will constraint it vertical in parent and also horizontal in parent and this will be to do okay and let's split it to xml we'll increase the text size to 40 sp and also the text style to bold and text color to white and we'll require one drawable to the right side and let's select done all this one and also we'll provide some padding to drawable of let's say 10 dp and we need to increase the size of this asset so the height let's keep it 40 dp and the width 40 dp 
so now it's cool or we can again increase it to 50 dp so now this is perfect and yeah that's what i wanted so this is our splash screen now in the splash activity we need to create one handler so handler handler equals to new handler and then handler dot post delayed new variable and here we'll just start the new activity so start activity new intent and here we'll pass splash activity dot this and to main activity dot class and we'll finish here so finish and here we need to pass the duration so that will be four seconds so four thousand milliseconds so that's it for this splash activity i'll just close this and in our main act, manifest file uh, i need to this copy this intent filter cut this and i'll paste it over here okay so yeah one thing i need in splash activity we need to hide the action bar so so action bar action bar equals to new sorry uh, get support action bar and then action bar dot hide so we'll hide this action bar from this splash screen okay so then let's test our app how it looks i'll select pixel 2 device for now in the upcoming parts uh, i will run this app on the real device but for now it's just a uh, splash screen and the main activity and there is nothing in the main activity so that's why we are running on the pixel 2 api 27 device so this splash screen and then our uh, to-do list or app name okay so looks cool everything is fine now in the activity main i need one recycler view to display all the tasks and i will constrain it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent okay so now i need to add another vector set so hit on new vector set and this time i'll require add so, so just search for add and i'll select this in color white yeah next hit on finish then just search for fab button so floating action button this one select it and I'll grab this icon constraint it to the bottom and to the horizontal side so I'll add 24 dp from both the side so 24 dp padding from both the sides so now I'll add some properties to this fab button to change its color so add background tint and select this one app colon background tint and we'll select the skin green blue also app colon tint equals to color annotation color of white yeah looks cool and id already provided as a floating action button so we need to provide id to recycler view so recycler view So that's it for the activity main also in this part uh, we can design layout for each task so just click on the layout hit on new layout resource file and this will be each task dot xml done okay so let's change this height to wrap content and uh, let's provide some margin to it so layout margin of 8 dp and then we need card view here so card view match parent and this will be match parent then we'll provide some elevation to it so card elevation of let's say 8 dp and then card corner radius of 8 dp as well okay
and inside this we'll create one constraint layout so this will be match parent and match parent so here we need one checkbox so check box this one so let's provide with top match parent and height of 30 dp 40 dp will be cool okay then we can provide some button team to it so this will be green blue and also we can add some text here so let's provide some random text this is task one and we'll provide some padding of start of 10 dp yeah, this looks cool and again we can have let's constraint it first because uh, it is showing some errors so yeah horizontal in parent and to the top yes that will be cool cardio also so cardio horizontal in parent and to the top yes okay so then what we need uh, we need one text view so let's provide our wrap content for both fields so width and height will be wrap content and then again i uh, will provide id to it so due date tv and i think i forgot to add id here so id this will be m checkbox yeah looks cool now here we can increase uh, let's provide some text so let's write something date or today's date so 31 3 2020 and let's provide some text size to it of 14 sp okay so let's go to the design and we'll put it over here we'll constraint left side to this and top of this to the checkbox or yeah to the checkbox and let's provide some padding from start of let's say 32 or let's uh, make it 40 yeah so 40 looks cool and margin from the top will be zero i have connected this uh, to checkbox earlier but now i have removed that constraint and i have connected to the borders and let's put it to 40 okay so now it's cool and i think that's it for this design so yeah in the upcoming parts uh, if we need to make some changes here we'll surely come back here later okay so yeah so i think uh, we have done pretty much stuff now so we are completed with design and all that stuff so i hope uh, this will take three or four part to complete this tutorial series and in the next part we'll start to write some code so that's it thank you for watching and do subscribe